It's feeding time for Kelsey and Amanda Duyon's cattle outside Maurice. Their sons, Wyatt and Walker, are eager to help. That's because these cattle are getting a sweet treat, donuts. We get the donuts from a local bakery, and um, it's just their trash. It's the stuff that they don't sell during the day that they can't sell. And we go and pick it up and give it to our cows because they can eat it and make meat. So, <laughs> And it's also not going into landfills, so that's kind of the reason we started doing it. So it's our little sustainability story, but hey, it's fun. <laughs> and fun is the name of the game for the Duyas. It's why Kelsey enjoys their 30 head of cattle and 600 acres of sugar cane. It's like being a kid, being a kid playing in, in a toy box whenever you were eight, nine years old before you even had any responsibilities. And it's, it's like real life. You're driving tractors and you're, and then you play with animals all day long. and like you ride and it's peaceful. Peaceful work for this sixth generation farmer who is a diesel mechanic by trade. But for Amanda, production agriculture was not the initial plan. I did kind of grow up in a rodeo family, so I was always around horses and cows. And then my dad went into the oil field and we started moving around quite a bit. And so I guess you could say agriculture has always been a part of my life in different ways, but never row crop, not until I got married to Kelsey. <laughs> The Duyans work well together, tending to cattle at the barn. But like any good husband, Kelsey does blame his wife for their involvement in the Louisiana Farm Bureau Young Farmers and Ranchers program. She went to a cattleman meeting and some one of them approached her to come to one of their meetings and we didn't know nothing about it. And they was like, just come to one of the meetings and see. So we went and we, we started from, we went to one of the meetings and then that's what got us going. That was in Vermilion Parish, but now the Duyas are sharing their YF and R experiences with their neighbors in Lafayette. Within Lafayette Parish, it was kind of a dormant group for a while. We didn't really have any YF and R people. Since joining, we've actually already got uh, more couples involved and they're committed to start coming to more events. We've actually got even more coming in in the next year, so we're super excited to, to kind of share the wealth and show what we learned in Vermilion Parish and bring it into Lafayette Parish and hopefully start growing our district as a whole. But that's not all the Duyans are helping to grow. With the help of their farm dog, Case, they're helping grow children's knowledge about where their food comes from. Amanda wrote this book, Case and the Sugar Run, and it's available in schools all around Acadiana. It also represents the Duyon's love for farm life. There's no other way to live, and especially with a young family, putting your kids into that situation to where they, they appreciate nature and they appreciate the land and growing up, understanding responsibility. Um, they, my little boys, uh, my oldest one will come out and take care of his calf and feed her every morning and every night. He's, he has his own little sheep that he takes care of and chickens. And then my youngest one is always out in the garden with me every day. And he waters the garden. He has his own little pumpkin plant. I mean, there's, there's nothing better. 